안녕하세요. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. This kimchi is so delicious. Kimchi is a Korean dish. And it's actually fermented cabbage. It's spicy. has other vegetables in it. Oh, my God. It stinks a little bit. But it is so good. I got into Korean food years ago. When I got out of high school, I worked for a jewelry company. It was Korean-owned. Mr. Yun. He treated me really good, too. And he was the one that got me onto Korean food. He'd bring in Korean food and he'd let me taste a little bit here and there. And ever since then, I've loved Korean food. Another favorite one of mine is gim, um, um, brigogi. Brigogi. <laughs> Pardon my Korean. I probably sound like a fool to Koreans, but that is sweetened beef. And it is so delicious. Oh, my God. Speaking of food, Korean food, I'm sure, in general, most South Koreans eat pretty good. But, oh my God, when I think about North Korea and how those people live over there, I can't even imagine the quality of life and if they can even enjoy Korean food. And they're Koreans, you know? I mean, it's it must be horrendous. I, you Just the different things that you hear in the news and the clips that I've uh, seen online. I just, uh, I'll tell you, it makes me happy to say that I am an American. We have our problems here in this country, but when you look at the way a lot of people live around the world, <laughs> I'd be here any day. And as a trans-American I really am thankful that I live here in America because I can't even imagine what it would be like being trans in Korea, North Korea especially. Oh my God. Mm. I mean, I just, you know, and he, he, that's just one country. There's other countries that you hear like horror stories uh, when it comes to the LGBT community. And so, um, well, you don't have to go that far. Jamaica! <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but no, they, they're supposedly getting better, I hope. Anyway, um, yeah, I um, recently heard, and I thought this was just idiotic. Well, not idiotic, horrific. That's the word, horrific. President Kim Jong-un of North Korea. The, this man seems a little like, no, a lot insane. Supposedly, uh, I think the guy's name is Ri, Ri Young Jin. Ri, Ri Young Jin, who uh, was actually on his presidential cabinet. He fell asleep during a presidential meeting. And supposedly he was executed for that. Now, they said that they, he was held there and questioned by the national um, security minister. And they did this probe and supposedly they found uh, some sort of corruption uh, and uh, he was executed. But, I mean, it all stemmed from him falling asleep during a meeting. I mean, like, couldn't they just give it, given the man like a warning or suspended him for a week or, you know, took some, uh, reduced his pay? I mean, did they have to like execute the man because he dozed off? Oh my God. See, this is the stuff I'm talking about. When you hear and then you think, my goodness, if they're doing this to government officials, how are the people living? And they must be living in absolute fear. I went online once when um, 
President uh, Kim Jong Un's father died, and I just like uh, went on YouTube and I was looking at the clips of the funeral, the national funeral that he, they had from these people. Oh my God, they were falling out in the street and crying uncontrollably. And you know, a lot of it, I'm sure, was was real in the sense that you know this is all that they really know because I know. I, from what I hear, they don't get, like, outside TV and internet and all of that. So, probably a bit brainwashed there. But, uh, also, it seemed a little put on, like, over the top. Like, they knew that they needed to sh give an, a display of, of, of great grief. Uh, because if they didn't, it would, they, they're probably... Uh, would be in jeopardy of going to jail or executed because uh, their loyalty to the country would be questioned. I mean, it's just, it, it's horrendous. But I think that Raji needs to go over to North Korea and have an audience with President Kim Jong-un. Mm -hmm. We could have some kimchi mm, and some brigogi. Mm. And let's discuss, let's have a really full-on discussion about how you should treat your people. And if it, that doesn't work, maybe I can unleash these. Now let me stop. <laughs> Oh, my God. Honey, I can see me now. If I go over to North Korea, you all just better say bye-bye to Raji, honey, because I don't think I'll be coming back. <laughs> anyway, in closing, I want to say, Gam Samida <laughs> and Annyeong Hee Kaseyo. <laughs> Thank you and bye-bye.